Hi fellas, bit of a dilemma the old Islam isn't it because it's very hard to find out accurate information but you're all told what to believe about it, what to, what to think about it. The media tells you it's, it's all been to do with peace and getting along with people and it, it must be just like the Bible, right? No, no, it's not like the Bible at all. It's precisely the opposite to the Bible. Uh, here's a page here, it's an American page. Very, very reliable indeed. Uh, it tells you all about uh, uh, Monster Moe's behaviour. As you see, his massacres, his sex slaves, his killings. It tells you all about the, the early massacres. Uh, ooh, they put, he ordered at least 60 raids and wars, often in, usually involve massacres and personally participated in 27 of them. Yes, this is Muhammad. This is Muhammad, this beautiful guy that everybody loves. Oh yes, and he was so kind to so kind to his people, and so everybody loved him. Even the Christians, he butchered. I'm sure he must have loved him. I mean, at first, the first few villages, he butchered and stole all the houses and sold, raped or sold all the kids, all the little girls and boys, preferably selling them, of course, because they were worth a small fortune, as you can imagine. And they've always had this sick obsession about about virginity. I mean, he's still doing his female genital mutilation, even in France, even in London, even in Bradford, all over Birmingham, all over the bloody country, all over Canada. They're, holding, they're conning little girls, holding them down, pulling their legs apart and cutting their doodars, cutting their privates to bits. Oh, so damn peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Not. Yes, first massacre, Banner Khwarezm, Muhammad ordered the beheading of 600 to 900 adult men uh, determined by pubic hair growth. Yes, they pulled the pants down. If they had pubic hairs, they got butchered on the spot. If they didn't have pubic hairs, they didn't do much better because they got sold into a life of sexual or labour slaves. And with labour slaves, they usually used to cut their dick and nuts off. They did this to 15 million. 15 million poor, screaming, terrified boys and men. 15 million, that's terrible, isn't it? Imagine the poor young men, the poor kids, not knowing what was happening to them, why they'd been taken from the parents, why the fathers had been killed, you know, and why this was being done to them, being held down, having their nuts cut off. <sighs> this is the religion of peace. What a pile of horse shit. Right, that's the first massacre, Banu Khwarezm. Second massacre, Massacre of Kayabar. Now he brutally talked to his Jewish chieftain. He did it by tying, tying him down on the floor, putting a pot on his abdomen, holding it in place with, with string and ropes, and putting a fire in the pot, in this like brass pot. Yeah, fire with oil and paper. And as it gradually got red hot and sunk into this guy's muscles, this chieftain's muscles, yes, he, he finally relented and told him where the gold was. Uh, and of course, he was married to a beautiful Sophia, 17 year old Jewish Sophia, one of the most beautiful girls in the whole region, and he raped her the same night. Yes, this this is gentle Mohammed. So gentle, isn't he? Yes, here we are. Here's the Banner, Banner Kueza. There's about four or five massacres mentioned, and the, the routine was the same. We, we, do, we did the same as ISIS do today. They always attack, kind of, well, in them days, they attacked on horseback, fast, blitzkrieg method when they're not expecting it, you know, early morning when the town gates would be open or just as it was going dark when they weren't expecting any visitors they'd rush in, grab all the men, grab the chieftain, chop the heads off you know, rape all the kids or tie all the kids up you know, and sell them, this is what they did and as you can see, uh, there's no doubt about it, it's even got the references here uh, Sahih Bukhari, he was the main writer of the Quran, volume 5, book 59, number 444 but it can vary with each individual Quran of course Depending how it's laid out. Here we are. Here's another village. Which one was this? Do, do, do. Anyway, another another decapitation of 300 to 600 men. Enslavement. Uh, the number may have been as high as 900. Uh, the text of Sirat. Yeah, Medina. Medina, yeah, Mecca. Here we go. Hundreds and hundreds of people. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember reading about this. It describes it quite well in the Quran. How he was wearing, uh, he was wearing a flowered robe with sequins in it, and he'd made holes in it the size of fingertips because he guessed it was going to get robbed. So he didn't want to make a fortune off it because it wasn't worth a fortune. Yes. Yeah, so as we see, there's massacre after massacre after massacre, and uh, 
It's worth noting that old Muhammad had a slave cooking for him. Yeah, a Jewish slave cooking for him. He had butchered her husband, he had butchered her brothers, and he had sold this relatively young woman's children into sexual slavery. He'd wiped out a whole tribe, and stupid old Mo had the woman cooking for him. So, he was, yeah, yeah. If you butcher, butcher a woman's family and take away her kids and send them into sexual slavery, is it really a clever idea to have this woman cooking your dinner? <laughs> What a stupid old bugger. So there you go. There's the savagery, the racism, the supremacism of light-skinned Mo. And he was a very white-skinned man, apparently. And, uh, you know, they, they always value white-skinned. This is probably part of the reason they rape our kids all over Europe. Okay, see you guys.